I've got here a Greek coin and as you can see I'm wearing it as a necklace so I've taken it off and you can see a close-up there um, that's actually the wrong way around this is the right way around okay now this is a 4th century Greek coin and the obverse shows a head of Medusa the myth of Medusa is familiar, so everyone thinks of her as the snake-haired Gorgon whose gaze turns anyone who looks on her to stone. Now, her image was actually used in um, a surprising array of objects in antiquity. So she's on coins, but she's also on armour, on breastplates and on helmets. She's also found on jewellery, on pottery, and on domestic objects and architecture. So she's a potent force, and the way that we interpret her image today is that it's apotropaic, so it wards off the evil eye. So she has um, a certain power about her, and... What I find particularly interesting is that we have this image of female power in a patriarchal Greek society. Yes, she's the monstrous feminine. She's something to be feared. So it's the female that's feared. Um, but because she's used as a kind of an amulet, and she's used in scenarios which are exclusively male, like warfare, there's also a great kind of admiration of female power. Now, the image that I have here is typical, typical sort of Gorgon mask, Gorgonea, which we see in vases or coins and on jewellery. So it's basically just her head, her head or the mask. And it's got this really extreme expressions. So she has these bulging eyes, she has her mouth kind of open with her tongue out as if she's shouting or she's screaming. So it's a really ferocious image. And in terms of how this is interpreted in the post-classical world, uh, Freud in particular famously looks at the Gorgon at Medusa and connects it with a fear of male castration. Now, feminists have more recently taken Medusa as a positive symbol of female power and in particular I like Hélène Cézu's article The Laugh of Medusa written in the 70s. Cézu's a feminist literary critic and the article The Laugh of Medusa is about female writing and do women have a particular aesthetic. But she ends, um, she ends the article by actually referring to the image of Medusa, so the Gorgon face like we have here. And how she interprets it is that this isn't, this isn't a scream, this isn't a vengeful shout, it's a laugh. So she ends the article with, and Medusa, she is laughing and she is beautiful. And that's, um, that's what I take for Medusa. And so... This coin here, let's have another little look at it. So as you can see, it actually has a little hole cut in it, um, which will have derived from either late antiquity or the post-classical world. And so a little hole was cut in it for somebody to wear the coin as an amulet necklace, just as I'm doing today. <laughs>